Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone for the great suggestions that everyone left me last week. Um, in the next day or two, I'm going to be putting together like a full list of everything over at thebentknitter.com, so go check that out. And if it, any ideas come to mind, please let me know in future videos. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna be start flashing on ideas for future videos. But this week, I do, one of the questions that I do get asked a lot is, I wanna start netting, what do I need in order to start? So, which is a good question. And so I went to Michael's the other day and kind of went through and be like, okay, what do we need in order for someone to start needing? Luckily, it is not that much. So, the first thing that I grabbed was actually a project bag to keep everything in. Um, I will be putting a list of everything that I got in the description below and prices. I did want to do something kind of cheap, so that way, kind of inexpensive. But, I did get like a three-pack of bags. Um, you didn't have to get a three-pack, but I thought it was pretty cool that they were also blank. So that way, if you want to feeling extra crafty, you can do whatever you want on the outside. Um, but it's nice to have like a bag to put everything in. That way, even if it's at home, you can just have everything kind of centrally located in one place and area in your house. So it's nice to keep everything together. So a bag is very handy. Um, but the next thing is, is your knitting needles. So I kind of grabbed two. You only need one pair. Uh, but what I usually recommend is uh, number eight um, or uh, number eight for you. I believe that's like a US eight or um, a five millimeter. Now, um, as you can see, I grabbed a bamboo pair and a metal pair. Now, you only need one. Um, the reason why I grabbed one of each is because there is a little bit of a difference. For metal needles, um, they are a little bit more slippier, slippy, uh, slippier than the wooden needles are. So, depends on your preference. I usually say start for the bamboos because they are less slippy. So that way you have a little bit more control over it. Once you start um, knitting a little bit more, you can go to metal because you may prefer it over the bamboo. You want you may want a little bit more um, slidability for the needles. Um, I personally only use bamboos mainly because of the fact that I don't like how slippy these needle uh, metal needles are, but. It's all personal preference. Get what works for you. So again, either one. Bamboo is a little bit more expensive, but again, eight mil, um, number eight or eight millimeter size needles. It's a good medium size um, needle for you to start with. It's not too big. It's not too small. So again, get one of those. Um, now the last thing that you need to buy. Um, in the store is obviously yarn. Now, what I would recommend is um, when you go looking for yarn, you can always find stuff on sale, but also what I would recommend finding is medium size for yarn. Um, most uh, yarn will have kind of a rundown of what it is, kind of like yardage, um, some of it how to wash, but also what weight it is. So I do recommend a medium four weight, which is again, like the needles, a good middle yarn. It's not gonna be too skinny for you, but it's not also gonna, not gonna be that chunky for you. So that way it's gonna be very easy to control um, while you're starting learning to knit. Once you have this, um, you only need one skein um, for a scarf, usually um, with a lot of stuff that you can get at Michael's or Joann's you only need one to make like a scarf or a tablecloth or something of the sort. Now, like I said, this is the last thing that you sh should buy or have to buy. Um, what you can do in order to start knitting is you actually go on YouTube where you found me. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on how to cast on, um, how to knit, how to purl, and how to bind off. Again, I will put all this in the description below if you kind of are wondering where to start in terms of stitches. Um, the four I usually recommend is casting on, how to start your project, the knit stitch, the purl stitch, casting off. Casting off is how you end. Again, I will put the, this in the description in case you need like a little bit of a reference for what to search. 
if you do want to buy a book, um, looking, um, I again, you don't have to. I actually kind of recommend this book, Learn How to Knit with 50 Squares, because this will go take you through very simple, easy stitches and have you go through patterns and, and more advanced stitches. So um, if you want to buy a book, I would say this is a good book to start with. But again, you don't have to. Go on YouTube. I will list the stitches that you should look up in the description below. Um, but that's all you really need to start knitting is just a bag for a crap project holder, some needles, and some yarn. Anyway, I will see you next week, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Bye!